remember to keep your hands, feet, and all your belongings in the train and remain seated at all times. Our journey begins before we even pull out of the station at our South American exhibit to your right, where you'll find alpacas. They're related to llamas, but much smaller, and their fur is used to make fabrics. We do have a brown, white, and black llama. His name is Jellybean. Everyone say, hi, Jellybean. Hi, Jellybean. The animals that look like large guinea pigs are called capybaras, and they're the largest rodents in the world. They can weigh up to 150 pounds. The large birds are greater rheas. These flightless birds love eating insects, and during mating season, it's the male rheas and the bats who sit on the nest, hatch the eggs, and raise the babies. As we move on, you may notice some humans on your left or right. Everybody wave to the humans. They may be moving a little slowly. Next on our journey is the apiary on your left, which houses some of our more colorful birds, including the scarlet ibis and giving them. Both get the bright colors from the pigeons to the food they eat. The bright blue birds are the glorious round pigeons. They have unique crests on their heads, bright red eyes, and are native to New Guinea. You may also see our Canada goose that has taken such a liking to the flamingo that he often stands on one leg. As we round the corner, look to your right and you'll meet Bariki and Bakari, our male giraffes. Bariki was born here at Wild Adventures in 2002. He's 16 and a half feet tall. And even though his neck is so long, he has the same number of bones in his neck as you do. Sadly, Bakari was born in 2017 and joined the Wild Adventures family back in May of 2020. Bakari and Bariki have become best friends and are inseparable throughout most of the day. You can get up close and personal with Bariki and Bakari by visiting the Giraffe Overlook after we pull back into the station. To your left is Wanyama Observation Deck and Botanical Garden. Wanyama is Swahili for beautiful animal. And that's just what you'll find in Wanyama. The first animals you probably notice are the white fallow deer. The males have large antlers, which they will lose and grow each year during mating season. The males like to show off to the females by dancing around and making a lot of noise. The small antelope you see are called black bucks. Black bucks are very fast and can run up to 50 miles per hour. Black bucks used to cover the entire subcontinent of India, except for the western coast, but their numbers are improving thanks to conservation efforts. The cattle-like animals with the large hump on their backs are called zebu. They are the oldest breed of cattle in the world, and their humps are used just like a camel's. It's a reservoir of fat that can be used for energy when food sources are scarce. The largest animals in Wanyama are Asian water buffalo. They can weigh up to 2,600 pounds and spend most of their time in the water. They have wide, hooved feet that help prevent them from getting stuck in the mud. Our male and female ostriches. Ostriches have very small brains. In fact, their 
eyeballs are bigger than their brains. In contrary to popular belief, ostriches do not bury their heads in the sand. They simply lay low to the ground with their good feet. On your right are gems. They are easily recognizable due to their communication. They are one of the largest species of antelope in the and are native to arid southern regions of the country.